hello everyone and welcome back to my channel um i am planning on doing a new series of uh videos as an average tanker because we can't all be unicorns and that's okay you guys know how i feel about that and i decided to start uncovering how i strive to get my uh, as many marks of excellences on my tanks as possible uh also this has increased my win eight and my win rate so heads up for that you guys there's a lot of myths out there about MOE, but I'll cover that later on in this video. I'm pretty sure you guys have all heard about those. And I want to start by saying that I'm by all means, you guys, no expert in the game. But this so far is something that has worked for me. So I just want to share my knowledge and maybe you guys can get something out of that, right? So what are marks of excellences? I'm pretty sure all of you know, but for the ones that don't know, Marks of excellences basically are an in-game feature to show off a certain level of skill in a particular tank towards other players. And don't forget, you guys, marks only count from tier 5 and above. So they are marks displayed on your gun barrel. They look different for each nation. And the better you are in a tank compared to your fellow tank players, the more marks you will receive. So that's pretty much in short what marks of excellences are. So here you see the mutant American tank. It's got one mark and it has right here one white star on the barrel. Then let me see here where I have a marks of excellence. I have a Russian tank that has also one marks of excellence. And this is very hard to show you, but it gets one red star on the barrel so you see it looks different the oho one mark it's got a bloody x or a red x i don't know how you want to call it um and then let me show you really quickly the frenchies the frenchies right um okay let's just show this one then I think I got the battle pass thingy on. The Frenchies get a stripe, etc., etc. So you guys can look up yourself what the marks of excellences actually look like for different tanks. If you guys want to know more about how the calculations work, as in like mathematical, I advise you to go to 13 Disciples website, who is also a fellow CC, where he made a very in-depth article about this. I'll put the link in the description. I'll show you guys really quick what the link looks like. So you'll come here, Marks of Excellences, how it works. And then you are going to see some calculations and numbers. So for everyone who is interested in that, make sure to actually go to uh, 13 Disciples website and like I said, I was going to put that in the description below, right? Um, so, we're going to get to the point, you guys. We'll be talking about tools for this and tips and tricks about the marks of excellences right about now. I know this is something you all have been waiting for, so I hope you guys are ready for it. Here it goes. Grinny six tips on three marking tanks for average tankers. And of course, above two. I'm pretty sure everyone can learn a little bit of that. So my first tip is certain tools in game can make it easier uh, to get your marks or to keep track of your marks, to know how much you need to do. It's in game. You got mods or separate website websites. So one of my favorite tools personally is this thing right here. It is called Marks of Excellence Extended. This is an optional thing. It is a mod. It has to be installed in the mods folders of World of Tanks. Can be found on as a separate mod, or you can find it in mod packs like Aslanes, uh, Old School Pro mod. Pretty sure there's more mod packs out there that I can't think of names of right now. But this here will allow you to see how much is needed to achieve certain marks on a certain tank. It shows it in garage and in game so for one it's useful but not just that it can be a motivation in game so in game you get this number too and if you get your combined damage and you're playing your tank right you will see your marks of excellence rise rising which you go like oh this is going up so you want to do better as well you don't do stupid mistakes well if you're called grinny you'll still do stupid mistakes and go in like an idiot but it will prevent you 98% of the time 
of making mistakes and pushing into easy because you actually want to stay alive you want your teammates to stay alive to assist you etc so it can be a real motivation to play your tags right um let's see if you don't want to install mods i know there's a lot of people out there that don't like having mods in their game they love playing vanilla you can play you can also uh, check your statistics so let's just go to the statistics tab for a certain tank you go to awards and then you hover over marks of excellence and then you see you see all the colors that comes from xvm so if you're not installing any mods you will not see those colors but what you will see is on the bottom it says current ratio is higher than the ratio of 67.75 percent players who fought in this vehicle for the past 14 days so you know you're at that percentage and you can i wouldn't suggest looking at that after every battle but i would definitely do that after three or four battles to see if you're doing good and so on another very very important thing that i really like is and let me go there real quick is whatgarage.net so let me just go here so this is whatgarage.net we will go to the same tank so we will go to france and then that was tier 8 the ebr and my dog just scared himself with his shade or his shadow so we go to the ebr and you see here for your first marks of excellence you need 2056 combined second marks third marks and you will also see how much your target damage is for that tank for your win eight to see your win eight go up so that can be very very interesting too um i have to say i don't really use this website because i personally use the 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 mod so the marks of excellence extended so i don't use this and i don't know how accurate this is i'm pretty sure it's accurate but i don't know how many times it gets updated is it every day is it every two hours is it every two days so i don't know so just keep that in mind and you're always if you know someone who runs that you can always ask them like hey do you know what the requirements are so that is one thing then tip number two you guys you guys remember i'm talking about the myths at the beginning of the video well this is one of them so a very common myth here you guys is that oh when you are playing for your marks of excellence you have to sit on the red line you're in a scout you have to sit back you red line you do damage that way the more damage you do the higher your marks get the same with heavies oh sit back in a heavy sit back in a medium just medium just farm that damage farm that damage and i can tell you you guys i call bullshit on this if you are not playing your tanks like they're intended to play like a scout or a medium or a heavy you're making it harder for yourself to achieve those marks this this is just one example but just play your tanks as it intended don't redline you will miss out on a lot of juicy spotting damage when you're in a scout a lot of juicy assist or even spotting damage in a medium or a heavy tank and just play your tanks right and that doesn't mean just go forward press the w key and oh i'm gonna get all that spotting don't do that don't 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 play like an idiot either just play your tank like they're meant to be played i do want to point out too and this does not just count for marks of excellence but this is just in general of the game there is no shame in running away from a threat it is always a valid strategy to run away if your flank is failing no matter what tank you are if you're in a heavy tank a medium tank td it doesn't matter if you have the chance to get out do not hesitate to do so now i know certain tanks are too slow to get out but if you have the possibility run the longer you live the longer the chance of a victory and upping your marks another myth is that when you're going for marks you lose more games then again this is completely correlated with the previous myth if you're going to have red line scouts that are trying to mark or heavies that are sitting back because they're trying to farm damage 
to get that marks of excellence yes that will often lead to a loss but if you play your tanks like like you have to you play your scouts you give lights you get support you you hold an area it will give your team an advantage and in my experience both my win eight and my win rate have improved by just thinking that way and not just sitting in the back and redlining so that's just my point of view on that one then tip number three you guys so we finally know how much is required to get your next mark and my opinion on this is for instance this tank you see for your first mark let's say you're working on your first marks you need 1588 combined damage what i do personally is like okay i'm going to set that goal to 2000 combined damage higher than it's supposed to be what that does is if you have a battle and you don't hit that 2000 combined but you hit 1800 you're still above what you have to have you didn't meet your personal goal but you did meet the goal to up your marks of excellence even if it's by a little bit so that's a little bit a trick of the mind so it helps then tip number four being greedy for damage is okay but be smart about it to get more out of one shot especially when you're in a fast reloading tank and with a lot of dpm track tanks in the open retrack it if they fix it that way you get your assist damage while your team is firing at them and you can do damage to the track tank as well the assist will make your marks go up really really quickly think if you can't ban someone the same way track them keep them in place let the bigger tanks take care, the bigger guns take care of it and that way you don't have to worry later on in the game oh that person is still alive i'm gonna have trouble with that one so tracking is a very very valid strategy to up your marks of excellence then we're at tip number five and this is a tip that doesn't just count for marks of excellence as you guys it really to me it's a very important thing don't get toxic towards the team i see that too, so much someone gets upset because a team lemmings one way Ardy is pinging like oh my god idiots you guys are not covering this side yet Ardy stays on that side and never moves to where the team goes don't expect your team to adjust to you instead you in adjust to your team it like i said it doesn't just count for marks this count for every single battle it can be very upsetting if your team isn't as skilled as you are but at the end of the day we're all here to play a game we're all here to have fun to have a relax a little bit of relaxation after work or after school or just at the end of the day not everyone thinks in a competitive way in random battles we all know that and we do have to respect that then the last tip of the day here is tip number six you guys be patient take a break you will eventually get there we all have good battles we all have bad battles sometimes we just need to change the tank we are playing because we've been grinding it for too long or we have to play another game or we just have to get off the computer and that's okay there's no shame in logging off a game there's no shame in that at all and come back when you're refreshed and you will have better results afterwards so you guys and girls i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will be going more in depth about certain things that can improve gameplay uh and experience and like i said at the start of this video by all means i'm just an average tanker no expert at all just let me know in the comments below if there were certain points you agree or disagree with and let me know if you guys have other tips let everyone know what your tips are for marking tanks and you guys if you liked what you see consider hitting that like and subscribe button for upcoming videos and i will see you next time have a good one tankers